Yo, how is it going, everyone? Hey, check this out. This is super duper cool. This is two brunts, um, not not entirely two brunts, but um, made using two brunts. And the bottom half is from Armada Tidal Wave. And so this Armada Tidal Wave actually was gifted to me via Punchy's Lab or uh, Punchy the Dog of Punchy's Lab. Uh, 3D parts, Shapeways designer, uh, extraordinaire. Check out his shop uh, description. Uh, uh, link is in the description. But this is so cool. My man sent me um, not only Tidal Wave, but he also sent me Megatron as well. And so I've been having a blast because they have 5mm pegs and ports um, all over those bots. And so, yeah, it's been really fun crossing different lines. Armada, um, what is it, uh, Cyberverse. But anyway, before I get ahead of myself, so this guy's really, really cool. And um, if you haven't seen it, I did a, my first uh, stop motion with this guy. It was pretty cool. And so... Um, he, he kind of has, like, Professor Xavier vibes, you know what I mean? He got a mean wheelchair over here, and that's pretty tight, dude. And so, um, yeah, he's nice. The purples aren't a perfect match, but it, it's decent enough. And, um, yo, it's really, really cool. Yeah, I think it's very cohesive, um, especially with this part over here that I'm probably going to use for another build because of how, like, cool that is. Um, but, yeah, so I'm going to show you how to make him. It is a very, very, very easy. But I uh, just wanted to say whether this is your first time, nth time, or whatever, um, if you're watching this, especially past the first minute mark, you know, I just want to say thank you so much. Um, Y'all are, are the folks who keep the lights on the channel and keep it going. And, of course, I appreciate everyone, really. But seriously, it helps the video um, rise in relevance and the algorithm the longer you watch and stuff. And so for those of y'all who didn't drop off after the first minute, which is typically the case, uh, thank you so much. And for those of you who do drop off, um, yeah, thanks anyway. Thank you for watching. So, okay, this back part, look at this. So cool. So cool. Yeah. It's just a nice piece. Okay, you know what? Sorry, it was a little blurry. Just a really, really nice piece. Um, and boom. And he he has um, elbow bend, but they're at different areas because... Um, all right, sorry. Because it's um, slightly asymmetric. I, I, I always said this one. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so he has elbow bend. That's nice, huh? And dude, he's all like Lieutenant Dan Dowd or like Robocop or something. And he was like, yo, you know, you, you, I don't know if y'all play like StarCraft, but um, the Protoss Dragoons, um, there were these vehicles that were inhabited kind of like by the um, souls of, or not necessarily souls, but like fallen soldiers who still wanted to um, uh, participate. And so they were somehow like infused into those machines. And this dude was like, yo, I want to keep going, dude. I don't care if I got Lieutenant Dan. I'm ready to go, dude. So they hooked them up with it with uh and so they hooked them that's gonna be the story. They hooked them up with this vehicle over here, but he needs to power it. So they gave him another um engine pack. And there you go. And then he just plugs in very securely, right? There. See, I did it without even lining up the pegs and ports, but um dude, he's tight. He's tight. Oh wait, I forgot I was going to tell you how to make him. I mean, it's super duper easy. Like I don't think I even need to take him apart. So like I said, you need two brunts. So the parts that aren't being used here are the arms of the robot, yeah. And so what you do is you just have one of the bodies plug into the thighs, um and the thighs have two peg or sorry, ports on the front side of him. So you just flip them around because these are the back of the thighs, and then you just plug those down into. Oops! You just plug those down into the Armada skiff. I, I'll just take it off. There. Oh no! I got a burp. All right. Um, yeah, like I said, it's just this lower half like this, configured like so, and it's plugged into the top torso. The top torso, no, 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 no. The top torso over here has um, two of the, you know, the super guns made into the leg, um, or made into the arm rather, and so you just have them plugged into the back piece. This entire bit, that's a super gun that I'm talking about. You know, what I'm talking about right when you make brunt, and so sandwiched on the back of this uh, of the super gun is just another brunt torso, just flipped upside down. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I probably could have added the arms if I wanted to, but I don't know. I, I tried it. It didn't look great. And um, I, I used um, them for another build anyway, so that's fine. Um, yeah. All right, hold up. And so there we go. There we go.
So brewery. So he so brewery. Um, there we go. Yeah, dude. Look how clean that is. That's so cool. That's so cool. And um, I think I might do another stop motion with this guy showing off, showing off the back parts just like spinning and stuff like that. I might do that. The stop motions thing has been really fun, actually. And so I'm um, looking forward to doing more. So, yeah, this one's just been kind of a short video. But, um, again, yeah, I just want to say thank you so much always for watching. Uh, I really, really do appreciate it. Time is super valuable, whether it's five, six, seven, one minute, ten minute, whatever it is. Yeah, I, I thank you guys um, and gals uh, so, so, so very much. And, um, yeah, believe it or not, we have women watch, watching the channel. It fluctuates, actually. Um, at its lowest, it's about 15%. At its high, it's, highest, it's about 30%. Uh, but it ranges around like 20. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So anyway, once again, thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you all next time. All right.